Hey, babe, you almost ready to go? Sure. Cool. Have you seen my keys? Oh, we're already gonna be late. All right, once I find my keys, we can go. You ready? I'm not feeling very well. I don't think we should go. What do you mean? You're feeling fine a few minutes ago when you're playing video games and eating chips. Well, I really haven't been feeling well all day, so. What, you don't believe me? No, it's just this is the first I'm hearing about it. Plus, this is your usual ploy whenever I make plans. See, what's happening is you are more concerned with your new friends, Ethan and Shane, than you are with my well-being, which is typical. You know that's not true. I care about you more than anything and anyone. If I didn't mean that, then I wouldn't be here right now. Look, I'm not gonna force you to go, but as my boyfriend, I really hope you'd wanna come with me. Then why don't you believe me when I say I don't feel well and I wanna reschedule? Because, Sam, we both know you're not actually sick. You make things up to get what you want. You've done it before and you've admitted to it in therapy. Look, like I said, I'm not gonna force you to go, but it's too late to cancel on him now, so I'm leaving. How dare you? And go ahead and have a fun time without me, but good luck getting there, though, without your keys. Did you have my keys again? You have got to be kidding me. Sam, I thought we were over this. The last time you hid my keys, I was nearly fired. Where are they? I don't know. Did you hide them in my sock drawer again? Nope, not up here. Sam, seriously? Just tell me where they are and I promise I won't get mad. Okay, we need to have a serious talk. Sam, stop ignoring me. Well, what, why did you, why did you do that? I just lost the game. Don't you hit me. Just calm down and tell me where you put my keys. Okay, fine, you want your, here's your stupid fucking keys. Take them, go have fun. You had them this whole time. You lied to me again. Sam, what did I do to deserve you treating me like this? I just want you all to myself, okay? Hey. No, stop! Sam, stop. Calm down. Just calm down. It's fine. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere, Sam. Just, just take a deep breath and calm down. You're okay. I thought you said we were going to be better. I know. I guess you... I guess you don't really want to go with me anymore. No, of course I want to go with you, but if it means that much to you, we can stay home. However, we are calling the therapist. If I go with me... If I go with you, will you stay? Will you... Will you forgive me? Yeah, of course. I'm sorry. But we, we need to talk about what just happened. You know what? Let's go. I feel, uh... I feel a lot better now. Yeah. Let's, let's go have a fun time. Sam, you know it doesn't work that way. You're gonna forgive me, though. Yeah, of course I will, but Sam... Okay, let's go. We're gonna be late. Fine, but we're talking about this later.
Looks like your new friends are gonna be late. I said they're on the way. Just have another beer. Don't mind if I do. Are you serious right now? You gotta be kidding me. I'm literally right next to you. What? I didn't do anything. Yeah, okay. It's not a crime to look around, all right? Just because I go to the zoo and look at the bears doesn't mean I want to go home with one. Yeah, I know. I just wish you looked like you looked at me like you do every other hot guy that walks by. So you admit that guy was hot? Don't do that. Do what? You know what? I'm trying to get my point across and you're making it into a game. <sighs> I'm sorry, babe. Just remember that I choose to go home with you. Yeah, I know. I just... I wish I felt like I was your one and only. <sighs> God, you're so needy. I'm not needy, I just didn't think that I'd ask my boyfriend of three years to make me believe he actually wants me. Here we go again. Stop, they're here. Hey guys. Hey. Sorry to keep you waiting. I misplaced my keys. Well, you found them, so I don't see what the issue is. You guys okay? Fucking peachy. Yeah, we're fine, I promise. You guys ever been here before? Oh yeah, this place has the best burgers. Oh yeah? Maybe I'll try one. I usually just get a chicken wrap of some kind. <laughs> yeah, you get the same thing every time. You're so boring. No harm in knowing what you like, right? Yep, well I know. I would like another beer. I see the rest of your party's arrived. Can I get you guys something to drink? Uh, just before you take theirs, can I get another seasonal? Just a tall one this time? Sure. Thank you. And for you two? Just a water for me, please. Thank you. Do you have strawberry lemonade? Sorry, just regular lemonade. Regular lemonade is fine. Are you sure? Obviously, it seems I don't have a choice. Yeah, that's perfectly fine for him. Thank you. Great. I'll be right back. So, Sam, I didn't really uh, get a chance to talk to you at the party. What do you do for work? I'm a med tech at a city hospital. Oh, that's pretty cool. You probably see some crazy stuff. It sucks. I'm looking for a new job. Yeah, I'm uh, looking for a new job, too. It's a little different. You technically don't have one right now. How long have you been without work? About three months, I think. But it's all right. Shane takes great care of me, actually. Here we go. Are you guys ready to order? Uh, I'm gonna have the filet with a loaded baked potato. Just make sure it is very well done, please. Okay, and you? Chicken fingers for me. Sounds good. And what burger do you recommend? The classic bacon burger is what I usually go with. I'll have the classic bacon burger, uh, but no tomatoes, please. Wait, you don't like tomatoes either? I can't even do ketchup, that's how much I hate tomatoes. Yeah, I can do ketchup on some things, but yeah, ugh, I don't really like them. Look, Jonathan, another communist. Ignore him. He's a polar opposite of me and puts ketchup on literally oh. everything. Sorry, I will do the same as him, please. Great. I'll get that in for you. So, how long have you guys been together? A little over two years. And uh, where'd you meet? We actually met at work. So we used to work together at a retirement community. And Sam worked in patient care, and I was in low-level management. And I happened to bump into him in the lobby one day. And I did a little double take, and saw he was looking right back at me. You broke me out of my shell. That's so sweet. Yeah, a lot sweeter than our meet and greet on Boy Hunter. Okay, it may start out as a hookup, but I do remember asking for your number, and one thing led to another, and now, here we are. Here we are. I met my last ex on a hookup app. I'm sure we've all done it at some point. Not me. You're the only guy I've ever been with, and those apps are horrible. Only trashy people use them. Okay, hold on. I'm on it right now. Does that make me trashy? Wait, are you guys in an open relationship? Oh, no. Definitely not. Ethan just likes to chat with guys, and... I mean, I'm, I'm on there a few times looking for friends. <laughs> How's that working for you? Uh, not very well. What about you guys? Are you guys into threesomes, foursomes? Are you in an open relationship? No, no, I couldn't do that. No offense if that's your thing. I just feel like I couldn't handle it emotionally. You know, I feel like there'd be so much jealousy involved. 
I prefer to give my heart to just one person. My soulmate. Ah, so you're a romantic. <laughs> Kinda, I guess. <laughs> I wish somebody was a little bit more romantic. Wait, what are you talking about? I was the one that proposed to you, remember? Oh my god. Wait, are you guys engaged? No, because his idea of a proposal was bringing me to McDonald's, sliding the ring across the table and saying, Wanna piss off my parents? Yeah, sorry bud, can't back you up on that one. <laughs> when are you gonna propose to me? Sam, we talked about this in therapy. We need to work on ourselves before we move on to that level. Well, you're obviously not going anywhere, so it doesn't matter if you propose to me now or a year from now. So do you guys like to travel? Go on vacation? Yeah, we're actually just in Disney over Christmas. Oh, I love Disney. Me too. You know, I feel like I appreciate it so much more as an adult than I ever did as a kid. I totally agree to that. I used to think Epcot was super lame, and now it's my favorite. Although, it's a small world, I hate. We pretend that ride doesn't even exist. That's a good idea. What was your favorite ride, Sam? I don't do rides that make me sick. What do you like to do then? He likes to stand there on his phone while I go on the rides all by myself. Excuse me for asking, but uh, why'd you go to Disney if Sam doesn't like rides? You know, that is a really good question, and it's something that he didn't bother to tell me until after we got there. I just prefer walking around the park, that's all. And there's nothing wrong with that, babe. Does anyone want to know what my favorite ride is? Let me take a wild guess here. Is it the Drinking Around the World Showcase? That's right. Yeah, until you uh, threw up in front of some girl on our first ever Disney trip, and then we almost got kicked out because you tried to fight security? Okay, but that's not nearly as bad as the time that I bounced on Tigger because, you know, Tiggers like to bounce. And I even actually questioned my interest in furries that day, but that was completely shot down when Donald Duck actually flirted back with me. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but that is a total boner killer for me. Wow. Honestly, Sam, did you have to use the whole bottle? I can smell it from here. You have to have a comment for everything. Thanks. I'll be right back with your check. So, I gotta be honest, that was really like a burger, but uh, I fed better. Oh really? Well then, you're just gonna have to take me to your favorite burger place. Maybe I don't wanna share all my secrets just yet. Well, on that note, I'm gonna go use the bathroom. I'll meet you in the car. Are you gonna say goodbye to our new friends? Yeah. Peace. Sorry about him. He's uh, no good unless all the attention's focused on him. No, I'm sorry. I tried to keep him engaged in the conversation, but I had no idea what to talk about. No, you're totally fine. Unless it has to do with hot guys or alcohol, he struggles the whole conversation. What do you guys talk about then? You hardly seem like that. Uh, surprisingly a lot. You know what they say about opposites attracting. Yeah, I can attest to that. Isn't that right, Sam? Are we ready to go now? Uh, do you guys have plans after? You're more than welcome to come over when we can uh, watch a movie on Netflix or something. That sounds like a lot of fun, but we should get going home. Yeah, totally. Uh, maybe another time? Yeah. Uh, what about next weekend? That sounds great. Where is our waiter? Sam. If you guys have to leave, you can get going. Uh, dinner's on me. Wait, are you sure? I know it must be hard with Ethan not working. Oh, yeah. No, you can get it next time. Okay, yeah, next time's my treat. For the love of God, can we go? Sorry, I need to get this one home before he turns into a pumpkin, apparently. Don't, I'm just tired of sitting here, you know how my back gets. Yeah, yeah, I know, Sam. Shane, thank you, I had a lot of fun. Sure, me too. Bye. Oh, thank you. And I'll take that whenever you're ready. Okay, thank you. What is taking him so long? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. 
Fuck. Oh yeah, keep going. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh god. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Oh. Shit, did you hear something? Oh. Who cares? Keep going. You ready? I got more than just words. I got more than just words. You bring me songs sweet like the birds. So I got more than No. 